My husband Jake and I have two children. Our daughter um, Harper is three. Our son Henry is 10 months old. My husband is a lineman with Georgia Power. Um, has been with the company about 10 years. Jake got the opportunity to go to Puerto Rico and help restore power um, there after the hurricane. He left 60 days ago, which as you can imagine, with two small children. Um, it has also been a feat at home just to keep things going, working full time, being the mom and the dad <laughs> um, at home. Is, it's been a challenge, but we're very excited that we were able to do it um, because Jake has a heart for people and um, it's amazing to think about those people living for four, now going on five months without power. Well, I told myself when he left that I couldn't think about 60 days, um, so I decided I would do it one day at a time and that every day would probably look different, but that we would make it. Yeah. So the day that we said goodbye, um, was it was challenging because I think reality set in. We went upstairs and started getting the children ready for bed and um, on Harper's pillow was a note from dad, um, from her daddy that just said, hey Harper, these are some videos dad made you and it was our iPad and Jake had weeks before he left, I guess, had started making videos um, of him reading stories to Harper at night, which is a special time for them. I love you. I miss you. Love you, Mom, for me. To hear him talk about the people of Puerto Rico and just how thankful they have been. The days that you turn a school on and the children, you know, come out and are just so excited that they get to go to a full day of school tomorrow. It's the things that we take for granted. They have changed people's lives um, over the past 60 days, and that's incredible. They work a job that I think people also take for granted just the um, danger and risk. I mean, I think about being in 90 degree heat, working 16 hours a day for 60 days straight and keeping your mental fortitude to be able to operate live wire at hundreds of feet in the air. I just hope he sees the excitement that we have to, to welcome him home, to welcome all of them home. Um, they've done such a good job. And so I just want them to recognize the gratitude that we have as his family. I hope that he recognizes and really all of the guys recognize that um, what they do is amazing and we can't say thank you enough. Here they come.